I'm very happy to be here to be a part of this event, kicking off the planning of the Serve Shelter edition that we're doing for Homemade. This is our third project, and we're very proud to have all our devoted trade partners here. This project is an expansion of our current shelter area. It's 4,000 square feet of what will be um, additional family bedrooms and additional family common space. The purpose of today's meeting was really to give a formal kickoff to the project that we've uh, signed up with Homemade and Serve uh, to build the addition on the building, to give the trade partners an overview of the construction drawings, give an opportunity to ask questions about the details. There were 25 subcontractors in the room. The architects were, were talking with them, the subcontractors directly. They were you know, talking about real issues. They were looking at the plans, looking at the details, everybody getting involved. And really give them a first-hand feel of the project here by being able to walk the site, walk the building, see the good work that the serve people are doing here. We're going to be expanding to 92 beds here at SERVE and we're going to be able to have more space for parents to be able to do planning, the teenage kids to be able to do their homework and be able to uh, have more privacy and of course uh, kids to be able to have an area for play and so on. You know it's hard to imagine what life is like for a child who doesn't have a home or for uh, a parent who may be worrying about where their child will sleep that night or whether they will be safe and comfortable and well fed and well nourished. Housing is one of our most basic and fundamental needs and it's one of the greatest challenges for families that are struggling. Even here in the vicinity of our nation's capital, there are over 11,000 homeless people, more than half of whom are families and more than a quarter of which are children. It is wonderful to see that in this economy that's that things are tough and that in an industry that we're having our struggles, that there are folks that still believe that giving back is a day in and day out part of their business. Giving back to the communities that we live in and work in is a central part of the corporate culture at Kehavnanian. It's who we are, it's what we like to do. I want to take one minute also to publicly recognize and express our gratitude to the trade partners who are working on this project with us. Without their generosity and support, we never could have brought this project in at the, the cost savings that was really required to get it off the ground. Aid is just a wonderful nonprofit. We could not have built the shelter or expanded the shelter without them. It's a, one of our largest undertakings with uh, Home Aid. We're happy about the results and uh, how it turned out. You look at a plan on paper and it's wow, this is going to be a great design. And you see it when it's done and it just has so much more wow to it. The great room, the, the shelter space itself, the ability to serve so many more families now. We've got a full house, so it demonstrated we needed this facility. 33 children already in here, so it's just a beautiful, beautiful facility. I am a survivor of not only mental abuse, but physical, sexual, and everything you could possibly imagine. Serve, with help from Homemade, has just been remarkable. Every moment has just been a treasure. They really, truly care about the people here, and not just the people, not just the adults, but the children. They really have a focus on the children. My kids didn't have to worry, you know, where we were going to eat, where we were going to sleep. Someone had asked my children how they felt about being here from where we were. 
And my son said, 